All right, hey everybody, this is Calligraphy DK. It is still Procreate 5 beta season, and here are my top five features in the new Brush Studio. So number one, we have a new design. I'm sure you've already noticed by now, but instead of the small little Panem Procreate 4, we now have a full screen UI and it's so much better. It feels much more optimized like a true dedicated iPad app, which makes navigation super easy. If you look at some of the stock applications like settings, it just makes sense to me to adopt these UI elements and I'm glad they did. Number two, we have dual brushes. That's right, you now have the ability to combine two brushes into one, which opens up a ton of new possibilities for brush makers. Dual brushes layer one brush over another within a single stroke. The one you choose first becomes the primary brush as shown in the studio panel, but you can switch those two at any given time. You can also set different blend modes to customize the way the two brushes interact with each other. So yeah, dual brushes, an awesome new addition. Next we have Color Dynamics, another huge one, and the way I see it, the one feature that easily gets most talked about, but understandably so, I mean, are you kidding me? You get to make multi-hued brushes that you can all individually control depending on how you press or tilt the Apple Pencil. I've been playing around with it for some time now, and I have to say the single most difficult thing is to stop myself from adding all these hues because in theory, yeah, it sounds cool, but Let's figure out how now you're going to use a calligraphy brush with more than six hues. Unless, of course, it's a rainbow brush. Now, speaking of brushes, number four, you can now also import your favorite Photoshop brushes into Procreate, so sliding off another layer between those two programs. To be honest, I'm not really a Photoshop brush user. My library basically consists of the stock ones, but for the people who do, this is yet another great feature to have. And now finally, number five is all about the little things. So for example, the bigger preview panel, which also adds the ability to choose between colors, the addition of a number pad, which lets you manually input percentages. So no more scrubbing until you finally hit an even number, new glaze options. I mean, the list goes on and on. And in the end, it's those little things that make everyday usage much more enjoyable in my opinion. And I just want to thank Procreate for actively listening to the community. That being said, this is still beta, so things are bound to change, but I'm pretty sure these main features will be available on the official release date. Until then, you can check out my other videos covering the beta version and consider subscribing because I will continue to cover more in Procreate 5 and especially in the new Brush Studio. So yeah, those were the top 5 features. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.